corner and welcome to my channel I hope you're having a good day one of my subscribers asked me to make a big fish so I'm gonna be making red snapper and it's right here what I'm gonna use I have some crab meat I have some shrimp that's being divine and clean I have lemon salt in here I have bell peppers, onions, and um, garlic. I have some pepper and lemon crushed. I have rosemary, parsley, onion and garlic blended. In here, I have some red onions, I have peppers, sweet pepper, habanero, that's a mixture of hot and sweet. And also I have some um, string onions. We're gonna be using some oil. Obey seasoning, nature seasoning, some butter, onion powder, fresh parsley, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, black pepper, and some allspice. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I have some water in here. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in my water. I'm going to juice one of my lemons. Now that I've juiced it, I'm just going to pour it with the seeds and everything in my water, my salt water. Blend it together. And just drop my fish in there. And it'll just soak. It gives it a good fresh scent when you're ready to bake it. And now we're going to move on to cutting up my vegetables. So I'm doing it in strips. Transfer it over to my bowl. That is also in strips like this. Go into my habanero peppers. I like it hot, so I'm going to keep the seeds in it. If you don't like it hot, you can take the seeds out. It will be a little spicy, but not as bad as if you keep the seeds in there. So I'm going to cut all my vegetables and I'll be back. I've cut all my vegetables. So you see all those pretty vibrant colors. And that's what I'm going to use for the bed of my um, fish when it starts to bake. I'm going to go on to cutting my crab meat. About this size. And I'm 
gonna move on to cutting my shrimp. And that's gonna be diced up also. Small sizes like these. So let me cut everything and we're gonna be back when it's time to start blending my other ones that I had in this um, stuff right here. And I have put some oil in there with the vegetables. So my shrimp is all um, shredded. My crab meat, I blended my onion, garlic, and bell pepper in here. And you can follow me over to my stove so we can start getting the mixture together. I have my uh, frying pan going. It's gonna be two different pans I'm using. One will be the sauce that I'm gonna um, blend my fish in, and the other one will be that I'm gonna stuff it with. So I have my frying pan, I'm gonna put some butter. That's about a stick of butter. I'm gonna dump in my shrimp and my crab meat. I have my crab meat and my shrimp going and I'm going to add my garlic and onion that was blended. The rosemary. Some later seasoning. some old bay seasoning garlic powder onion powder some cayenne pepper Yeah, it's stir. So I'm going to be stuffing my fish with it so now I can take it off my stove. Just cut it off. I take it off my stove. And let it cool down. And we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, I have a frying pan going. And I'm going to dump all my blended ingredients in there. I have the rest of my garlic and onion. Put my paprika. Cayenne pepper. dried lemon and black pepper. So my all spice seasoning. And a little bit of my nature seasoning. added two habanero peppers in there so it's going to have some kick on my fish when I season it with this sauce. So let it continue to fry and we'll be right back. Okay my sauce has been cooking for about 10 minutes. I'm going to cut it off 
and let it cool completely down. I have a frying pan going and I put a little bit of oil and I just dump my mixed vegetables in there. And one of the rosemary. I have it on very high heat. I'm just going to season it. Toss it around, just coat it. And this is going to be like two minutes and I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so my fish been sitting in the bath water. I mean some lemon and some water and some salt for 20 minutes. I'm gonna transfer it here and just dry it off very well. And that extra step just makes it taste very good. And it's just a paper towel I'm just using to dry it up. And the next step, we're about to season it. So I've seasoned it well, and now I'm gonna stuff it with my shrimp and crab meat. to put my rosemary in there also. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna put some oil on my pan. Because you wanna make sure that your fish do not stick. And I'm just going to spread it out. And take my vegetable that I fried. And make it like a bed for the fish to rest on. And make sure that you have oil on it because you don't want your fish to stick on your pan or your vegetables. So I'm going to take it and transfer it on my bed of vegetables. My oven is going at 450. And I'm just going to put some more of the seasoning on it. going to transfer my fish in the oven. So I had it for um, 450. It's been 20 minutes and I'm going to turn it around and let the other side cook. I'm going to put some more sauce on it.
and I'm gonna put it back in my oven. My red snapper is ready. I did it on 450, 20 minutes on one side, flipped it over, did another 20 minutes. But if you get a fish that is very small and you put it in your oven and you see that it starts to burn before the 40 minutes is up, you can just take a foil paper and just put it on the top. Don't seal it in, just put it on the top for it to continue cooking. So I made some wild rice and now I'm gonna cut some of my fish. And transfer it into my plate. Some of my vegetables. I hope you try my recipe. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and if you want me to make something else, just drop a line. Bye bye.